Now you've probably heard it across forums and even tested your own website in Google's PageSpeed Insights and noticed that Squarespace websites have a very low PageSpeed score. And that's probably why you're asking why is Squarespace so slow? And in this video, I'm gonna answer exactly that and show you how you can make Squarespace websites as fast as possible. Now, before you panic too much about your Squarespace website having a low page speed score and being slow, I'm going to put my hand up and say it impacts me as well. Even my SEO agency, Ref Auto Media, we're a specialist SEO and content marketing agency. Even we have a low page speed score on Google. You can see that we've got 35 out of 100 on Google's page speed insights tool, which is Google's own tool, which will tell you how fast your website is and things you can improve to increase your page speed. However, this doesn't stop us from ranking page one for our Squarespace SEO plugin, as you can see here, which in fact we're rebranding to SEO space. And even on this website itself, you can see there's literally nothing on this Squarespace website right now. All it is is a contact form for you to sign up for the public launch of our Squarespace SEO plugin. Even then, it's getting a page speed score of 56 out of 100. So if you're sitting there frustrated thinking why is my Squarespace website slow, do not worry because I do this every single day and even I can't increase the page speed score above a certain amount on my agency website and on the SEO space website that has a low page speed score and there's literally nothing on the web page. So do not worry but in this video I'm going to give you seven steps that you can look at to try and get that page speed score as high as possible. But first of all, why is Squarespace slow? And again, when I say slow, I mean loading speed on Google. Squarespace websites generally take more time to load than other platforms. And why is this the case? Now, one of the things that we love about Squarespace is that it's incredibly easy to use and we can go from zero to one and launch a website very, very quickly. One of the negatives of this is if we wanted to go on a specific page and edit the code too much, or even if we wanted to install specific plugins, using the extension marketplace to further push the boundaries of what's possible with Squarespace and speed up Squarespace websites, we can't do this. And this is because Squarespace is specifically designed to be easier to use, which means it's a little bit more restricted than other platforms. If we take this Squarespace website, for example, I can install as many plugins as I want. There's a full marketplace for me to go through and install more plugins in order to speed up the website. For example, on here, we've got Auto Optimize, we've got W3 Total Cache, we've got WP Code, we've got Yoast SEO. There's loads and loads of different plugins that we can put in to further speed up this WordPress site. And Squarespace doesn't necessarily have this advantage. You can't install loads of plugins. You can't easily change the code to speed things up. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do to speed up your Squarespace website is to compress the images. When you take an image and upload it to your Squarespace website, it's likely that it was too big, which means when Squarespace tries to load it to anyone that visits your website, it's a big file size which slows down your website. So you want to make sure you compress all of your images. And I see this quite common if maybe you're a wedding photographer, you've, you've got a business that relies on visuals and a lot of images on your website, you probably didn't compress them in the first place. But don't worry because I've recorded a video about optimizing images for SEO in Squarespace, which shows you how to identify images that need to be compressed using my Squarespace SEO plugin, but also with other tools which are freely available on the internet. So don't worry, there's a whole separate video to this because it is a lot to cover and I'll leave it as the first link in the description. Now, the second thing that you're going to want to do on your Squarespace website is remove any videos. If you've used Squarespace's native feature to put videos on your website, this is something that could seriously be slowing your website down. Because just imagine if a user loads a web page and their browser has to load in the video, this is potentially gigabytes that could have to be loaded and slow down your website. 
and the easy solution here is to add the video as a YouTube video. Take my Squarespace SEO plugin page here on my website. You can see that our promotional video has been added as a YouTube video. And the reason that we added it as a YouTube video is because that video is stored on YouTube. It means when a user comes to the web page, they don't have to load this in, it's stored on YouTube itself. And they still have the same user experience because all they need to do is press play and that video will play for itself. And it's very, very easy to do this within the Squarespace editor. All you need to do is click on the plus wherever you want the video to be added, go to embed, not the video option, go to the embed option, and then copy in the URL of the YouTube video that you want to put in exactly there. And as you can see above, when it goes in, it will preload the thumbnail in there. So make sure you add something engaging and it will automatically pop in there, as you can see here. And this is also good for SEO because Google owns YouTube. So if it sees that you've got YouTube videos embedded on your website, it's gonna think that users that visit the website are more likely to stay within the Google ecosystem, which means Google makes more money. So it's more likely to push your page up search engines. Now, the third thing that you want to do is to remove custom fonts. Now, in an effort to make your Squarespace website look nicer, you may have added different fonts into the Squarespace editor to provide it with that extra little bit of oomph to either get more customers or potentially engage your users that come to your website. Now, one of the problems of this is if you add more fonts into there, it's extra stuff for Google to load, which slows down your website and means that people may not even get to your website and find the new fonts appealing in the first place. So remove those custom fonts because they could actually be holding you back, which takes us pretty well onto the fourth point. And the fourth point extends onto the point of adding customization. You know, not only do you need to remove any custom fonts that you added, but you may need to remove any custom code because this custom code is extra bloat that is added on top of your Squarespace website, which could make your page load even slower. If you're a Squarespace website designer, you could be adding in some extra CSS, some extra plugins, some extra tools, which could be making this happen. And if you just have a Squarespace website in the first place, which is potentially being built by someone else, they may have added some code in that you don't even know about. The fifth thing that you want to do to speed up your Squarespace website is check and fix any broken links. Broken links are essentially URLs in your website or web page where there are links that are broken. And essentially you want to identify these and fix them because if there's broken links, it makes it harder for Google to go through and index your website because it will go through your web page, it will analyze the content that's on there, analyze the links. And if there's broken links, it will stop it from analyzing certain areas of your website. For example, it won't be able to see what you're linking to. It won't be able to see if you've linked to a credible source, for example and therefore it makes it harder for Google to rank your web page. And I'll show you two easy ways to do this. First of all, you can use the Squarespace SEO plugin on any page of your website and it will highlight any links that are broken in red. So you can see here, I've just added this link in and it's highlighted to me that it's broken. One of the really cool things about this is a selector. You can click on it and it will highlight exactly where that broken link is. So there's no need to click on the different links to figure it out. It will tell you all here. And all you then need to do is go onto the link. In this case, I just need to remove it and then press save. After which, once you refresh the plugin, it will tell you that the link is no longer broken. Another way that you can do this is pay for tools such as Ahrefs, which will provide a complete audit on your website. For example, this is my travel blog that is on Squarespace, a couple of things to do. And you can see here that there's a page that has links to broken pages. And this provides you with a complete audit and it will tell you exactly where the link is and then also what the broken link is as well. So it becomes really, really easy to identify and fix broken links. Ahrefs is a little bit more expensive, which is why I'd recommend a Squarespace SEO plugin or even potentially Screaming Frog, which has a free plan. As a bonus point, talking about links, another thing that you may want to look for is any unnecessary redirects. Redirects are essentially where you have a URL that you want to point to a new one 
and you may do this because you may have had a page that you removed or your URL that you changed. These redirects, similar to broken links, make it harder for Google to go through your web page and know exactly what's happening in order to rank you. So go through this, see if there's any unnecessary ones you can remove, and this will make your Squarespace website faster. Moving on to the sixth tip to improve the speed of your Squarespace website is use accelerated mobile pages. Accelerated mobile pages is essentially a setting that you can turn on on Squarespace, which will provide a lighter version of your blog to mobile users. And this essentially makes those blogs load faster, which is good for SEO and for Google rankings because Google prioritizes mobile performance on your website. So if you can make those web pages load faster on mobile, then that's gonna boost your rankings. In order to do this, all you need to do is go over to the settings of your Squarespace website and go to blogging. Then what you're going to want to do is scroll down and press use AMP. So this allows AMP providers to show the AMP view of your blog page. So this specifically is for my testimonials, which I've uploaded as blogs. If I press use AMP and then save, this will essentially make those case studies load faster on mobile, which as I said, is great for Google and will make your web page load faster. The seventh thing, and this isn't specifically to do with Squarespace, but when you do a web page speed test, Obviously, it's also using your browser. So something that may be skewing the results of your Squarespace page speed test could be the cookies in your browser and any data that's stored. So if you go through and clear your cookies and your cache and then retest the page, this may actually show you that your Squarespace website was loading faster than you initially thought. So do this, do all of the seven steps that I've taken you through, and I guarantee you that your Squarespace website will load faster and your page speed insights test will improve. Now, just to conclude, remember that there is a limitation to what you can do with Squarespace sites. You're never going to get a Squarespace website to load as fast as WordPress websites, as I covered in my WordPress v Squarespace for SEO video, which I'll link in the description. But do not worry because Squarespace SEO is still very good and you can rank above most websites if you add quality content and get quality backlinks as well as following SEO best practices. Feel free to check out SEO Space where we've got our Squarespace SEO plugin and free resources to help you improve your SEO. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.